Hi, I'm Nicole from Low Income Relief, and today we're going to talk about a few ways that you can get help with vehicle registration. And this is a topic that is really important to me because I actually benefited from one of these programs at a very critical point in my life. So first up, let's talk about who's eligible for free vehicle registration. So some states provide help with this for eligible veterans who have a certain disability rating. In most states, you have to be 100% disabled to get a complete waiver of fees, but that's not true in all states. I've seen it as low as 50% disability rating with the VA. Even some states that said that you don't necessarily have to meet a certain rating criteria. So if you are a veteran with a disability rating from the Department of Veterans Affairs, this is definitely something that you're going to want to pay attention to. When my family lived in Washington State, we were able to get free lifetime vehicle registration, which was crazy to me. We got these special tabs for our car and we didn't have to pay for them and they were never going to have to be renewed, which was crazy. And I don't think Washington is the only state that does that. I've seen offers similar to that in many states. So let's talk about which states offer free vehicle registration for veterans. So veterans may be fully exempt from vehicle registration fees in the following states. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada, New Mexico, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, Washington, D.C., West Virginia, and Wyoming. Now, I know that's quite a lot, and you can see on here that in some areas it's not 100% free, and I just want to take a minute to explain that to you really quickly. So in Michigan, from what I read, you're going to have a $5 one-time fee to set it up, but then in following years, you shouldn't have to pay that fee. Mississippi covers up to two vehicles for just a dollar. I believe that was a dollar a year, um, but we're talking about 50 cents per vehicle if you're using that on two vehicles. That's practically free. It's amazing. In Nevada, again, you're going to see that $7 one-time fee. Um, but then subsequent years, that should be covered as well. Now, again, those are the rates for the current year. It is currently 2024, end of. So I just want to let you know that those numbers may be updated over time. Um, now, other states offer discounted vehicle registration for veterans. And this is when you're going to be partially exempt from those fees, but not necessarily fully exempt. And we found programs like that in Montana, Oklahoma, and Utah. And there are other states like Connecticut that offer help with vehicle registration specifically to veterans with significant disabilities, but I wasn't able to get an exact percentage number on that. In the past, we've identified discounts like this available in states like Delaware, Massachusetts, Nebraska, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, and South Dakota. You can call your state's Department of Motor Vehicles or your state's Department of Veteran Affairs for clarification on those policies. But again, the free and discounted car registration programs that we found today are not exclusive to veterans. There are other programs available. So let's talk about some of those. So there are registration waivers available in some states. A lot of times military families are going to be eligible for those exemptions, but there are other programs as well, but they are very varied and they're very time consuming to research. So I'm just going to point you in the direction of your local DMV to see what vehicle registration exemptions may be available for you in your area. Now, if you're not exempt and you need help with those fees, there are still programs that may be able to assist you. And at Low Income Relief, we always recommend turning to government programs and nonprofits first, because that's often easier, faster, and more reliable than pursuing help from other sources. So let's look at a few programs that may be able to assist you. And now as we move through this section, I also want to stress we do our best to find resources that are applicable nationwide. We look for things that are going to help people no matter what state you're in. So usually I'm not going to specify a state on these. The, the amount of help that is available and the exact details of each program may vary, not only by state, but by county or city as well. So um, again, this is just general guidance and you're going to need to follow up to see how these programs work in your local area. But with that being said, let's move on. So community action agencies are one of my favorite resources in the United States. Every area has one. And these agencies are designed to help people who are experiencing financial hardship connect with resources and programs in their area. Community action agencies are often in charge of LIHEAP and other programs like that. 
they often have just an absolutely robust suite of assistance programs available to the people in their area. So they may be able to help you with your vehicle registration fees, or they may be able to point you in the direction of an agency that can. So I would always recommend reaching out to them to see, first of all, if they can help you, but if not, if they can at least show you where to go. And then if that fails, Modest Needs is another program that may be able to assist you with vehicle registration fees. This platform is kind of a crowdfunding thing for people who are working and who need help with certain expenses. Not everyone who applies with them will be funded. And there was a bit of a scandal with them a while back, but from what I understand, the person who was causing that problem has since left the agency and things are turning around. So you might want to look into that before you apply. I've had a great history with modest needs. You might want to look into that as well as an option. Town and county welfare funds are another resource that's available in certain areas. I see this often in more of the Midwest and often in the like New England states. Um, usually there is a town or town welfare or a county welfare or a general assistance fund, either at the city, town or county level that has funds available to help low income people with emergency expenses, basically. And those can usually help with rent or medications or funerals or other urgent needs that you may not be able to get help from from other sources. So I would assume that vehicle registration would be covered under that, especially if you need to travel to work or childcare or medical appointments, because you know, those that's what those funds are there for is to help keep you going so that you can improve your situation. So I would recommend looking into that if it's available in your area. Now, if you have a child at home, the school outreach services are another fantastic resource that may be able to assist you. A lot of school districts have outreach services that help support low income students and their families. And you can usually contact your school or your school district to see if they have a family resource center or an outreach center or a service center. There's all sorts of different names for these things. For example, the Cheney Outreach Center in Washington state does help low income families with car registration fees. We were able to confirm that in that area, but it's something that may be available to you, especially if you live in a rural area without a lot of public transportation options and you need your vehicle to be able to get your child to school, I would assume that they would be able to assist you with that. Another great network of low income assistance is St. Vincent de Paul. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul is a network of local chapters associated with Catholic churches that provide emergency assistance to those in need. And we've seen in the past that they are really good about helping with vehicle repair and other assistance like that. I would assume that they may be able to help you with car registration fees as well. And these, these resources typically offer immediate, like one-time assistance and their funds are usually fairly flexible. So contact your local St. Vincent de Paul office to see if they can assist you. Now, if you're eligible for government assistance and you can get either TANF or diversion, TANF is a cash benefit program for low-income families with children. You can use those TANF funds for vehicle registration as well, or at least you should be. Now, if you're not sure if you need TANF, diversion cash is another option available. It is more of a upfront payment. You get one cash payment instead of an ongoing monthly support. And again, that, those funds should be available to help you with vehicle registration if you're eligible for that payment. Now, if so far none of this has been useful to you, I highly recommend checking out your local churches and charities because those organizations often provide assistance to community members in need as well, especially for emergency expenses like vehicle registration or car repairs. Um, so definitely check that out. And then of course, if none of this has been useful to you and you're still facing those high fees, there are a few more strategies that you can use to help lower those expenses. So first I would recommend that you challenge your vehicle's value, especially if you're in a state where the value of your vehicle determines the cost of your registration fees. According to the National Conference of State Legislators, some states do use that vehicle value to determine how much you're going to pay. And it looks like that's especially true in states like Arizona, California, Colorado, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, and Minnesota. And so if you are able to negotiate or dispute the value of your vehicle, and you're in an area that calculates it that way, you may also be able to lower your registration fees, which can help. And if you're currently receiving assistance from another program like SNAP, you can also contact your caseworker with your concerns. They may be aware of other programs in your area that can provide assistance, and they may be able to connect you with other resources, right? On low income relief, I try to stress this 
a lot because even if they can't help you with car repair, but they can connect you with something like LIHEAP that'll pay your power bill so that you can then have that money for car repair, that can make all the difference. So I highly recommend looking into that if that's an option for you. And finally, you can call your local helplines. The easiest way to find additional resources in your area is to contact a helpline. If you call 211, it will connect you with your local United Way resource directory. And if you call 800-677-1116, it will connect you with the Elder Care Locator, which is a special hotline that has a resource directory built specifically for seniors and their caregivers and families and so on. And of course, if you need more help, go to lowincomerelief.com to see all the resources that we have available. Have a great day.